Before we start the video, just a quick reminder that I do have a Discord server, so if you haven't yet, please join it. We can chat there, and also it's a good way for me to communicate with you in case something bad happens to the channel. If you're interested, the link to it is in the description. Yo, what's up guys, it's Tower Level 469 and welcome to a new Ninjago video. Quickly wanted to give a shout out to these people you see on the screen because this video would not be possible without them. So a couple weeks ago, Tommy Andreessen, one of the Ninjago creators, made a tweet saying that we would be getting something better than Dark Kai, quote unquote, in season 14. He has teased that we should be worried about Jay, and when someone asked about Ed and Edna's current whereabouts, he responded that they will probably show up to a marriage or funeral. I doubt Jay will die, I mean, he is a main ninja, and if we see him go through a permanent death, it will be harder for Lego to sell toys based around him, but anyway. I'll go more into this marriage and funeral stuff in a future video, but if we are going to be scared for Jay and we will see some Nia angst, quote unquote, what if Jay becomes a villain? It's crazy, but I think it could happen. Here's why. First, Jay is probably going to be sacrificed, quote unquote, to the sea monster or Wohira in season 14. We can tell the sea monster in season 14 is fake based on the trailers, but what if the season 15 villains show up and take him underwater? This could make season 15 a rescue mission season and perhaps the villains do something to Jay. Hopefully in a fiercer way than how Zane became the Ice Emperor, but having Jay be evil in this way would be awesome to see. It would make for a crazy arc, to be honest. Second, and finally, I know, not many reasons, but it would fit in with the tweets Tommy and Drayson sent. We all want Kai to become a villain in a future season, but none of of us would expect Jay to become one. It's sort of like how Zayn is not the villain type, but we saw him cause genocide in season 11. I think it might be great for Nia to fight her boyfriend. It might even trigger her I love you line that I know many Ninjago fans have wanted for years. Who knows, but if this were to happen, I think it would be cool so Nia can find the good Jay inside like how Lloyd tried with Zayn in season 11, and then we see a marriage at the end of season 15. Again, Nia angst, and we should be scared for Jay. I don't know, but season 14 being the prelude to this arc would be awesome. That's all I have to say. What are your thoughts on this theory? Please let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching, everyone, and I will see you in the next video. Peace out. Bye.